Hi there. Welcome to Book Summary. Today we will summarize the book, Prisoners of Geography by Tim Marshall. Prisoners of Geography by Tim Marshall is a captivating exploration of how geography shapes the political, economic, and social destinies of nations. In this insightful book, Marshall takes readers on a global tour of ten regions, each with its unique geographical features and geopolitical significance. Through vivid storytelling and a keen understanding of geopolitics, he unveils the profound impact that mountains, rivers, oceans, and borders have on the course of history and international relations. The central premise of the book is that geography is a powerful and often unchanging force that exerts a significant influence on a nation's behavior and its relations with other countries. Marshall argues that by understanding the geographical constraints and advantages of different regions, we can gain valuable insights into the political decisions and conflicts that shape our world. One of the key regions explored in the book is Russia, a vast and resource-rich country with a history of expansionism. Marshall explains how Russia's geography, characterized by vast land masses and flat plains, has influenced its territorial ambitions and its need for buffer zones. He delves into the challenges Russia faces in securing its western borders and the strategic importance of Ukraine and Crimea in its geopolitical calculations. The book also examines the role of geography in the Middle East, a region marked by deserts, mountains, and a scarcity of water resources. Marshall highlights how the availability of oil and the control of key waterways, such as the Suez Canal and the Strait of Hormuz, have been central to conflicts and alliances in the region. He provides valuable insights into the enduring tensions in Israel and Palestine, as well as the complexities of the Syrian civil war. In East Asia, the book explores the significance of China's geography including its access to the sea and the challenges posed by its mountainous borders. Marshall discusses China's territorial disputes with neighboring countries, such as Taiwan and Japan, and the strategic importance of the South China Sea. He also analyzes the role of North Korea as a buffer state and the dynamics of the Korean Peninsula. Moving to South America, Marshall examines the impact of the Amazon rainforest and the Andes Mountains on the region's political and environmental challenges. He discusses the historical conflicts and territorial disputes between countries like Brazil and Argentina, as well as the struggle for control over valuable resources in the Amazon. The book's exploration of Africa sheds light on the legacy of colonial borders and their enduring impact on political stability and conflicts. Marshall discusses the challenges faced by countries like Nigeria, which must contend with ethnic and religious divisions exacerbated by its colonial past. He also examines the strategic importance of the Suez Canal and the Nile River in North Africa. The European chapter of the book delves into the historical and geographical factors that have shaped the continent's politics and alliances. Marshall discusses the impact of Europe's rivers, mountains, and plains on the formation of nation-states and the enduring tensions between Russia and its neighbors. He also explores the role of the European Union in promoting peace and cooperation among European nations. In the Indian subcontinent, the book highlights the significance of the Himalayas as a natural barrier and the source of major rivers that flow through India, Pakistan, and China. Marshall discusses the historical conflicts and border disputes in the region, including the enduring tensions between India and Pakistan over Kashmir. Turning to the Arctic and the Antarctic, the book explores the growing importance of these polar regions in an era of climate change and resource extraction. Marshall discusses the competing territorial claims in the Arctic and the potential for conflicts over access to valuable resources such as oil and minerals. Finally, the book concludes with a discussion of the impact of technology on geopolitics. 
including the role of cyberspace and satellites in shaping modern warfare and espionage. Marshall emphasizes the need for countries to adapt to the changing landscape of global power and security. Throughout Prisoners of Geography, Tim Marshall's writing is engaging and accessible, making complex geopolitical concepts and historical events understandable to a wide range of readers. His use of maps and visual aids enhances the book's clarity and helps readers visualize the geographical features and strategic locations discussed. In summary, Prisoners of Geography is a thought-provoking and informative exploration of how geography influences the politics, conflicts, and alliances of nations. Tim Marshall's expertise in geopolitics and his storytelling prowess make this book a valuable resource for anyone interested in understanding the geopolitical forces that shape our world. By recognizing the constraints and advantages imposed by geography, we gain valuable insights into the motivations and actions of countries on the global stage. Finally, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave a link to the book in the description below. Please share your thoughts in the comments and please consider subscribing. Thank you.